When you are building websites or web apps with JavaScript, you don't want to end up accidentally making your content inaccessible to crawlers. Crawlers, like Google's Googlebot, help you make your content available and discoverable for users searching for it. As part of your development process, you are probably already using tools to make sure your code works with different browsers and devices. Using the tools we will cover in this video, you can also make sure that your content is discoverable for crawlers. A good first step to check your website or web app is the mobile friendly test. The main purpose of this tool is to show you potential issues with your content on mobile devices, but it can do a lot more than just that. Enter any URL and run the test to see if your page is considered mobile friendly. If you want to run this for your local development server, use a tool such as ngrok to get a publicly available URL. Once the test is completed, you will not only see if your page is mobile friendly, but also a screenshot of your page, as a Googlebot smartphone crawler would see it, along with the page's rendered source code. If you see that some of your content is missing or the page doesn't render the way you expect, you can check if there are any recommendations for you or dive in deeper by looking at the detailed report that also shows you which resources have been loaded and all JavaScript logs. But there's one more tool for you to make sure your site is working well with search, the Search Console. It is a great way to find out how your website or web app is doing in terms of being discoverable in search. We will only briefly cover it here, but make sure to check out our in-depth videos and documentation. Among many other things, Search Console shows you which of your pages are indexed by Google Search. The URL inspection feature in Search Console lets you see the status of a URL as well. It shows you the most recent index data about the page, if it is indexed at all, when it was last crawled, if it's mobile friendly, and many other things. You can also run a live test version if needed. Search Console also offers many more reports to help you identify and solve problems with your website. Search Console will even proactively message you if there are any known issues. To get started, verify your site to get reports and insights. It is also definitely worth checking out the documentation and videos about Search Console. If you use structured data, you can use the rich results test to check if your pages are eligible for rich results and even get a preview of such a result in the search pages. The test will also show you errors and provide guidance on how to fix them. Search Console provides a rich results report that gives you a site-wide overview of your structured data status as well, and it shows information in the URL inspection tool. You can also use the structured data testing tool to check for a broader range of structured data features. Some structured data is not supported as rich results, but still important to provide useful information to Google and others, like breadcrumbs. The structured data testing tool can either be used as a development sandbox where you can enter some markup and see how Google would pick it up, or you can use it as a way to test your structured data implementation by entering a URL and getting a report on the kind of data that we detected, along with errors and warnings. Past just content and structured data, speed is important too. Your goal, as well as ours, is to provide users with the useful results and a great experience. Performance is a big part of that. If you are not using performance auditing tools like Lighthouse, you should definitely start doing so. On top of performance audits, Lighthouse also provides a growing number of accessibility and SEO audits. In combination with the other tools, such as the Mobile Friendly Test and Search Console, they all provide different levels of insight into your web content. Lighthouse also provides insights into the speed and performance of your pages. Among many other elements, speed is one factor for ranking your page in search. So following the guidelines and recommendations that Lighthouse provides is great for happier users and better ranking. Last but not least, you can and should check if your pages show up in search. For instance, if you look for some of your content, say, the title of a blog post or one of your specific products, 
within search, you should find some results. If you found this video useful, consider sharing it. There are many more JavaScript SEO episodes coming out soon, discussing topics such as JavaScript frameworks and dynamic rendering. But in the meantime, check out our Webmasters Help Center and our Webmaster Forum. You will find the links for these in the description below.